Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for His children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. Today we have a special topic and this facing the truth. It's not an easy video to make, but I have to make it anyway. And I hope many people will see it and you will share it with all your friends and families. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation and the author of the Book of Love that you can get at Amazon. We are in our mission to Cambodia to lift up the needy, but especially the children, to go forward, bring them education, counsel them in case of violence and sometimes even rape because the children of poor families are subjected to violence. I have seen cases where my tears are coming, flowing down the face. And as I have already said in the special daily prophetic word, I prayed for support and the Holy Spirit gave me this Jesus and the Children Impact Week. I put a link in the first pinned comment. Please take part in it. But the topic today is facing the truth. If I see all these situations and if I see the response of not only the followers of the past, but the response of all the other people that we have reached, then we all have to look in a mirror and look very deeply inside and say, we are very far away from a true face and very far away from how the first early Christians were acting and treating one another. They understood that Bible, reading Bible verses and praying is not enough. They understood that they have to bring out their light into their neighborhood. They understood that they have to share resources. They understood that they have to support one another. They understood that even they have to sell off their security because at their time their land and houses were security. So they sold their security and gave this access for the advancement of the heavenly kingdom and for the spreading of the message and for helping the needy and the widow and the orphans and the children. They understood very well what to do. But we, if we really look at ourselves, we are holding tight to everything what we have. We say it's only for mine, mine and mine. And we cannot share even a little bit or support truly. We cannot even support the children. Very few people have come forward to help the children in bad situations where there's no education, where there's violence and even rape. How is it possible that the people are not coming forward? Do they not have compassion in their heart? Do they not have love in their heart? To show the love of the Father is not just only to talk, but is also to have action and to do something. Funds are not there for your luxuries and riches, but they are there to advance the kingdom and to win souls. We are in our mission, are full of compassion. And we are in Cambodia and we see the plight of the children and we are asking you to help, to support, the program of education and the program of counseling. Please see our daily prophetic word today about the special message. But we also have to face the mirrors ourselves. Like I myself. I'm not perfect myself. And if I see that I have failed these children, because yes, I am in Cambodia. Yes, I have taken myself there. Yes, I have initiated action to help and support them. Yes, I have used my resources to go there and assist and support them. Yes, I have done this. But still I have failed. Because I have failed to find the partners, the sponsors and supporters that are necessary to make a real impact there. I have failed to bring their plight to you people. Because I do not see any response from your side. Your heart should flow over with compassion too. 
and you should come forward and say, yes, I am here to support Michael. I am here to help him, to give him the resources needed so that the children can be lifted up and that the children will have a future and the children will come out of their problems. But I have failed. I have also not managed to speak the right words to you so that you have that compassion. We all have failed and we have to look into the mirror and face the truth. The truth is that we are very far away from being an early Christian. Where is our zeal for the love of the Father? Where is our compassion? Where is our light that we will shine into these little ones? Especially Jesus loved the children so much. Where is our help for the little ones? All what I hear from people are only excuses. Oh, I don't have enough for myself. Just do not take four coffees and you can support a child. Don't go to Starbucks, buy coffee and you support a child. There is no excuse that we can take. So what do we learn when we look deep into the mirror? When we see that we are far off from what the first Christian have done, sharing of resources, supporting one another, caring for the needy. They even established a whole group to take care of the widows and orphans. Nowadays, nobody wants to help anymore. They say, oh, we are reading Bible verses, we are praying, that's enough, we are saved and we go to heaven. Where is the zeal to bring forth the kingdom of heaven onto earth? Now what can we do? We have seen now that we fall short, very much short to this time. But there's hope. There's always hope. So we can change. For example, myself, I see now that I'm still a very small and humble piece only because I have failed. I have failed to bring enough resources for these children and I have failed to bring their plight to you because you're not responding and you're not helping. So I have done something wrong. But what can I do? I will continue to bring the plight to you. I will show you this. I will ask you to help. I will ask you for support. And I will not give up until I bring the tears to your eyes and compassion to your heart that you see the crying children, the suffering and the destroyed futures of so many little ones. Oh, Jesus would be very much annoyed with his people because he loved the little ones so much. I will continue to bring that plight into your faces and ask you for help and support until you will come and support that mission, until you will support the little ones, until you will help them to have a future life in Christ Jesus, where they can meet the Father, Yahweh, where they can see that Jesus loves them and that God loves them. Now is the time. And I will do that and will, will continue to do that so that we come more and more as first Christians. Now what can you do? You can in the first step support the mission. You can support the children. You can show forth that you have a loving and caring heart. As I told you, just give up a little bit and you will have the funds to support. Just a little bit and you can go forward. And that would make already a great impact in this Jesus Impact Week. And the Jesus and the Children Impact Week, it would help so much. Come forth. Follow the link in the first pinned comment for the Impact of Jesus Week. And make a difference. Make a difference in the life of a child. You people, you have children too. What do you think if something would happen to your child? What do you think if your child has no access to education or even is part of violence because you're poor? And there are many people who have a lot and they are not willing to help you. What would you say? You would also cry. Cry day and night for the plight and ask the Lord to help. Send people who open their hearts 
It is for the children. It is that should move your heart. Because to them belongs the kingdom of heaven. As Jesus said. Now change here. This is the first step. And then think about it. Take the challenge of a pure heart. And see how far you have gone astray from being an early Christian to today. Let alone the churches. We are not talking about the churches. The churches are so far away from that, that they cannot even imagine. But you yourself, with the Father in your heart, and with the love that you show forward, this is the time now for you to have a look into the mirror and change. We have to face the truth. That, and the truth is that we are far away from being kind and zealous and loving and caring Christian as the early followers of Jesus Christ was. Are you willing to sell your land or your house and to give it for a good cause? Are you willing to sell your car and give the funds for the plight of the children? Look at how much zeal this first Christian had. So we have to face the truth. And the truth is that nobody of us can even come close to these people. Nobody come, can come close to the first followers of Christ. But now, this is our action, what we have to do. We have to restore that situation. We have to restore the altar of old, to bring in the former glory, the understanding of sharing and caring. And now after you have faced the truth and have looked into the mirror, the time has come to change. And I know you can. And I know you will come forth and will take the impact of Jesus week, what is in the first pin comment, and you will change the life of the children and you will help and you will send your resources and you will give us opportunity in our triple grace education program and in our counseling program to lift up the life of the small ones and to show them christ jesus and the love of the father you are called forth now to change you are called forth to face the truth even if it's a bitter truth. It is for me a bitter truth, true, too, that I have failed you, that I have failed the children, and I have failed to bring the plight to you in the right manner, so that you come forth and support. Because I cannot see any person that would not have compassion in their heart if they know the children are suffering. I would not know anybody, except maybe the most evil ones, but especially for the women who have children themselves. Tears should run down your cheeks when you understand that there are little ones naked in the street, that they have no education, no power, and that they get maybe in violence and sometimes even rape. And we are here. We can lift them up. We can give them education and we can give them a future in Christ Jesus. But we need your help, your support. We need resources to do that. Some of the children have to go to hospital. It costs a lot of money. So please, let your heart flow over with compassion and love for the little ones as Jesus had. And support the impact for Jesus week in the first pin comment. Have a deep look into the mirror. Face the truth. Bring forth the understanding that we are all very far away from the early followers of Christ, the early Christians, but we can change. And right now, stop everything what you're doing right now and do the first step by lifting up a poor child in Cambodia. Help so that we can help. Help so that a child will have access to our programs. In Jesus' name I pray. I thank you that you have listened to this message and that you will have a deep look into the mirror 
And when you have done this and faced the truth, then you will come forth and support our programs to help the children in poverty, in education, in counseling, and in healing. May God bless you and your family abundantly for it. I thank you for all your help, your support, your donations, your partnering, all this. Please follow the link in the first pin comment and show forth that you are true and loving and caring Christian right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation with a special topic today, Facing the Truth. I hope I will see you again tomorrow and I hope that your heart is stirred and that you will help the children. May God bless you and your family abundantly. Have a great day. Maranatha.